Hey, welcome back to our Hungry Adventures. Guys, if you would ask me to recommend you only one place in Bangkok where you can witness local culture, taste delicious free food, and finally make your girlfriend feel satisfied as she will get a thousand new pictures on her iPhone, then the answer is pretty obvious. It's Bangkok Chinatown. And today, since it's finally not raining in the really many days, I'm inviting you to have a walk around this legendary place to hunt for one and two dollar street food, to learn a couple new words in Thai language so that you can, uh, so that your holidays in Thailand will be more comfortable, and just have fun around. <laughs> also, please activate the subtitles because I will be communicating with locals in Thai language, and I'm translating all these conversations. Actually, all videos made for the past couple of years have subtitles. In case you didn't know, you just need to activate them in the settings of your YouTube player. So as always, if you have got some time and empty space in your stomach and you are ready to waste your precious time together with me, then join me in this hungry adventure. Let's go! ใส่ไข่ค่าสิบห้าใส่ไข่ค่าสิบห้าอ่าอันนี้ปลาตองข้อมั้ยห้าบาทรวมเป็นมะโพยห้าบาทใส่ได้ด้วยใช่มั้
So if you have issues with spicy food in Thailand, you can order patong, oh, patong. You can order khao tom and just eat this uh, rice porridge with pork ribs. These are pork ribs. Soft and, soft and tender, like it's supposed to be. Okay, subscribe back. No problem, huh? If you have ever been to Bangkok but have never visited Yawarat Road here in Chinatown, then unfortunately I have to say that you've missed all of the fun and you have to come to Bangkok again and visit this place. Because even now, in 2022, a year when iPhone 14 Pro Max has been released, a phone which is more expensive than a cow, <laughs> even now this place still maintains this old tradition. There is, you still can feel this old vibe, the vibe of Bangkok Old Town, which is quite amazing. You won't find any other place similar to Bangkok Chinatown and Yawarat Road. Don't you agree with me, huh? Guys, these are chestnuts. Anytime you're coming to Chinatown, I'm seeing these huge buckets mixing these ch chestnuts. So we just need to try one. They're not sweet. I would say it, it feels like you're eating raw dough. This, this is the texture. I can't describe the taste. But it's probably not something I would eat on a regular basis. <laughs> However, when I lived in China for 13 months, I've seen it's being sold almost everywhere. Ani, what is it? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank ขันขันขันว้าวใหญ่มากมาจากปลาชูอัพไหมมาจากปลาชูอัพไหมขันแก่ใช่มาจากที่ไหนปลาชูอัพปลาชูอัพนี่ไหนเดี๋ยวเรา
if you remember the very first series of uh, Hungry Adventurers, when we actually have created <clears throat> Hungry Adventurers, I was eating here Tom Yam Kun or something, yeah, and it was completely empty during the times of the pandemic, when it was locked down. However, now, wow, all tables are taken. It's just like fantastic. I'm very happy for their business. However, quite many places are completely closed. For some reason, there used to be uh, Jumbo Lobster a couple years ago, and I can't find it now. Wow. But the feeling is amazing. I highly recommend you guys to come here. A lobster knee, how much? Lobster, lobster knee, how much? How Thousand five hundred baht for one kilogram of lobster, which is around forty dollars US. <laughs> the place has become extremely popular. One girl who's working here has recognized me, but none of them have got uh, enough time for talking because they've got so many customers. And there is a line; people are waiting for their queue to try these lobsters. But take a look at the size of these monsters. This is my end. Chinatown in Bangkok is so popular that there are special fences, special barriers so that people could walk on the road safely. Because it's obviously impossible for such crowd to walk comfortably on the sidewalk. Nevertheless, people keep coming here every day, not just on weekend, every day. Every day to feel this hustle and bustle, to feel the smell of fried chestnuts noodles and some tea and the smell of gasoline of course from tuk-tuks <laughs> i've noticed there are quite many tuk-tuks around and taxis which is why today's lesson will be dedicated to taxi and taxi meters tuk-tuks don't have taxi meters of course and you just get to be ready to it you'll have to pay a bit more and drive a bit less but just for the sake of fun, for the sake of new experience, you can try it. However, in taxi, uh, when you stop taxi on the road, sometimes they don't want to use taxi meter, which is why you have to say chai meter daimai. Chai mean use, meter is taxi meter. Yeah, daimai mean can or not. Chai meter daimai. So if they say no, it means uh, they don't want to use taxi meter. They want just to get some money. But if they say okay. You can jump in the car and they will ride you uh, anywhere you want and use taxi meter. And the thing is that in Bangkok, taxis are probably the, more, the cheapest in the world when, when they use taxi meter, which is why ride from one part of the city to another part of the city is pretty affordable if you are traveling on a budget. Motorbike taxi is even cheaper, but it, it will be harder to negotiate with them. However, you can use Grab Taxi and, and book yourself a taxi, book yourself a motorbike, motorbike taxi as well. Yeah, and you don't need to talk to a driver at all. You just need to find your place, find your location, and choose location you want to get to. That's it. If you are coming to Thailand, download Grab Taxi and Grab Food. Just grab 
grab application. Yeah. The lesson is done. <laughs> Don't shy, don't shy. Yeah, yeah. Say, I love no, you, mom. No, no. <laughs> and this is probably the most popular popular place with grilled, grilled squid skewers here on Yabarat Road. And all people staying along the road are waiting for their queue because it's cheap, it's tasty, and it's popular. เอานี่อันเดียวครับสามนาทีหรือว่าสิบนาทีครับสามนาทีเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวขอบคุณครับโอ้ delicious squid water น้ำปลาหมึกอร่อยหอมหอมใช่ครับขอบคุณมากครับอันนี้เท่าไหร่ครับ240สามไม้สามไม้อ่าขอไปเลยครับ So this is the moment of truth. Was it worth waiting, or is just hype? Hello, buddy, cut Thailand. Thailand, มาจากที่ไหนครับ Yawalat. Yawalat. ช่างวัดเยาวลาดเหรออ่าเจ้าเยาวลาดยูยูประเทศรัสเซียครับอ๋อรัสเซียอ๋อรู้จักไหมรัสเซียรัสเซียรัสเซียยูเครนนี่นี่เออโอเคโอเค it was worth it it's soft it's tender the sauce is amazing lots of chili lots of garlic crazy sauce Mmm, 120 baht. Very delicious. Mmm, I want more. My friend, my boy. Tok chai, tok tok chai. My friend, Myanmar. Myanmar. Minglaba. Minglaba. Ah. ขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับ Friendly people everywhere Doesn't matter do you speak Thai or not If you are just If you are just nice If you act nice Your time in Thailand will be Unforgettable Unique So special This is the reason why I've come to Thailand in 2012 And Next year it will be 10 years I spent in Thailand, third of my life. Thank you. Can you speak English? A little bit. No, no, no. Yes, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. No problem, sir. Thailand. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I wanted to show you the sauce, but I met your friends. And they turn off the light. All right, I gotta finish in the darkness. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, it was spicy. I am burning, but it was really good. Very delicious squid, fresh. 
Sep Sep It's 9.30 It's 9.30 Nevertheless, there are still so many people around I think even more than before Fantastic Yeah, we're at Never Sleep I think even on midnight You, you can find food here In fact uh, There are probably three shifts of various foods here in the morning there is one kind of food, in the afternoon time another kind of food, and in the evening till night there is another type of food. So depending on the time you're coming to Chinatown, you will find completely different style, types of food, atmosphere. But in the evening, of course, it is much better when it's not raining. More crowded though, but you can enjoy having fun with strangers and it's just completely different vibe. Patot, patot. More enjoyable and it's not that hot. It is hot, it is hot of course, because there are so many fires, so many cooking stoves. Guys, this restaurant called Crua Pon Lamai. They've got several uh, dishes in recommended menu. One of them is uh, omelette with oysters. Too much. <laughs> Mmm! Mmm! Wow! Very yummy, man. So crispy, not oily. Tender. Ah. And they cooked it really fast. Someone has recommended this restaurant to me two years ago when I made a very first series of Hungry Adventures in Chinatown. And I've checked the comments. I decided to try this place and it is really, really good. It's easy to find because it is located next to the Chinatown shopping mall, the new Chinatown shopping mall. And just in a 50 meters away from Wat Mongon MRC station. Very tasty.
it's 10.30. Time to sleep. <laughs> Which is why I'm about to finish this episode. Uh, if you want to have some updates, I'll be staying in Bangkok for a while. So there will be two, three more episodes from Bangkok. Let me know in the comments if you want to see something special. I'll try to make it. Uh, I'm preparing for the new tour. I will be changing... I will be changing the gear to make the new tour more cinematic, more exciting and entertaining, of course. Yeah. Hello, bye-bye. Thank you, very good. As always, thanks for joining. Hit the like button, hit the love button. <laughs> Smash it if you really enjoy this one. Share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. Make sure that notifications are on, because sometimes I do live streams, as you know. And if you don't want to miss it, turn the notifications on. And I'll see you in the next episode pretty soon. Somewhere else, by the ocean. By the ocean of street food. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> ah. Sleep, Nikki, sleep. <laughs> <laughs>